Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at the new Revit importer in SketchUp Studio 2023. So, we've been working on this importer for a little while, and it is now officially available as part of the 2023 Studio subscription offering. Uh, for a long time, you've been able to take SKP files, SketchUp files, and pull them into other software like Revit. It's a publicly documented file format, no problem, but there's always been hoops to jump through to get your Revit files back into SketchUp. And as of right now, we have that ability, so let's check it out. Okay, so I am here, I am in, you guys probably noticing this, I'm in Windows. This is a Windows program, uh, this is Windows functionality. So what we're gonna do is actually running it is, is pretty quick and easy. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna go to File, and I'm gonna go to Import. And in the Import screen, I'm going to make sure that Revit file is selected from the dropdown. If you look at that drop list, it's there's quite a few files, file formats that SketchUp users are used to, uh, a lot of the 3D, 3D model and image files have been talking about for years. And then, of course, there's more recently added the scan essential, uh, scan data files. And then right in here, Revit file .rvt. If you click on that, let's see, we can select Revit file. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this Revit file and import it. What's going to happen now is it is going to run through the Revit file and for every element in there, every single family, every everything that makes up that file, it's going to look at it and convert it into components for SketchUp. And there we go. Once it finished, it tells me that it has finished and I can hit close and we'll be in. So here we go, I'm gonna close. And there we are. The entire Revit file has now been converted into one big SketchUp component. Of course, there's components inside this component. It's not one big monolithic piece, but let's take a look at some of that information. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag my information out over here a little bit more. Let's double click to go into this main component. And if I pick on a piece, let's pick this wall right here. You can see this is a come up. First thing it does, it does tell me that this is in walls. I'm gonna collapse this so I can actually see this information too. So it's in a new tag called walls right here. Uh, it has information about the definition. So I can see basic wall, exterior three, stucco on metal. Uh, and then I actually have a volume of that entire wall. So each of the pieces in here is gonna show up similar to that. So here's my window. So I have the, information that's pulled over from Revit file there, everything's gonna end up like that. And it's th having the information in the component is nice too, because these are components too. So remember if I come in here and I select and change one component, it changes them all, which is really nice. But the other thing to think about is this. I think this is probably the part that I was most impressed by is the organization of tags. Because with everything on its own tag by entity type, it's so easy to just flip stuff off. Let's turn off those walls and windows and get a look at the inside. And I can just do that by clicking on a couple things there. That's, the doors look weird floating inside there. So let's turn our doors off as well. And there we go. Now I got a, a pretty decent uh, start at a structural model right there. Very, very easy to work with. Very simple geometry, but it's organized super well, so it's easy to go in, toggle tags, and then, like I said, as you select an item, I pick this right here, I can actually see where is it. It's a structural column. What is that structural column called in Revit? And all that information is available to me right there immediately after the import. So if you are a user who works with Revit files and works with SketchUp, it's no longer a one-way path. You can take your files, your SKP files, open them up in Revit, absolutely. And then if at any point you need to go back to SketchUp, you can absolutely just import that Revit file right into SketchUp. So like I mentioned before, this is something that's been requested for quite a while. We understand that in professional workflow, you do have to move from, from one software to another. And we're really hoping that this makes it easier for you. We'd love to hear what you think. If you are a pro subscriber and want to try it out, like I said, it is part of Studio, but you can download a new 30-day free trial of Studio at our website, sketchup.com, and we'd love to hear what you think. 
If you like this video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. This is an odd one. This is kind of falls off of our normal cadence, but we do normally release several videos each and every week. And you'd be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Do you like this? Have you tried it? Are you excited to try it? What do you think about it? What does your workflow look like? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.